Hello everyone, today I'm presenting you the sequence made by 63 Studio, The Order. Alright, so we can start from this part. Here we have a slide function, which is a standout feature of the sequencer. Each step has its own on and off switch, making it super easy to add slides exactly where you want them. This gives you precise control over the flow of your sequence, allowing you for a smooth transition between the notes. There is also a slide time knob, which lets you adjust the duration of the slides. And if you want to control the slides for all steps at once, there is a global slide switch. You can turn the slide function on or off across the entire sequence, giving you both detail and quick performance options. So now let's move to the pitch control. Each step has its own dedicated knob, allowing you to adjust the pitch individually. This can work in both analog or digital modes, giving you flexibility depending on your workflow. In digital mode, there is a quantize feature that lets you lock the pitch to different scales. This is perfect for keeping everything in tone and experimenting with various harmonic possibilities. Next up is a gate control. Each step has its own on or off switch. Make it simple to decide exactly where you want the gates to trigger. This straightforward design ensures quick adjustments and keeps your sequence easy to manage. Right below the gate switches, we have the gate time control. This lets you adjust the length of each gate step. Moving on to the repeat step function. This allows you to repeat a single step up to 4 times, without affecting the overall BPM. The key here is that the repeats don't take the full length of a step. Instead, each repeat happens faster, creating a stutter or burst effect within the sequence. So let's move to the part B. The first part is a pitch control. This feature allows you to adjust the pitch of each step in the sequence. You have a gate out for each step. Unlike in part A, where gate control is more global, here we have individual gate outputs for each step in the sequence. This gives you abilities to trigger different modules or external gears independently at each step. Now let's talk about the button controls. The sequence used actual computer keyboard buttons and they are being integrated into the design to give you a satisfying feel when you press them. The buttons are responsive and provide you a really enjoyable user experience. By holding down the first button and pressing another, you can adjust how many steps the sequence plays. This allows you for quick, intuitive changes to the sequence length, making it easy to experiment and perform live. You can control part A or part B with these buttons, or choose to control them separately. On the right side we have some additional controls, that give you even more flexibility. First up is a clock in, which allows you to sync the sequence to external clock. What's really great is that you can use different clocks input for part A or in part B, so each side can run at its own independent BPM, adding a lot of creative potential for polyrhythms and complex timing. You will also find a pitch out and gate out for both sides, letting you send the sequence pitch and gate signals to other modules or gears.